get some more zombies weapon mastery calling cards to unlock. And since in our last video, we hit the box for our next weapon and it ended up being a weapon that we already have completed, we're just gonna hop right in, hit the box and see what weapon it gives us. And hopefully we don't have it done yet. All right, we're going into D Machina here. And yes, that is how you say it. And I'm dropping in with nothing but a 1911 until we can hit the box and see what our weapon is. It don't even matter if I got the 1911. I'm knifing till we have enough money to hit the box. Can we even see where it is? Oh, it's up there by the plane. Okay. Let me work my way up to it. Let's rampage inducer it too. Save us a little bit of time. Okay. All right. Chill zombies. Damn. Dudes hit hard as hell. Okay, maybe we do use our pistol a little bit. These guys are way too fast. Oh no. Why do I have to add stress to a game we're only four rounds deep into? And this should give me enough points right here to make it all the way through. Oh, double points in here too? Beautiful. All right, let's turn this off. Let's make our way to the box. I forgot this is not open until we turn on power. Okay, let's go do that. And power is on. Head on through into the aether. And I know every time on the map, I say it, but I have to. I feel like it's an obligation. Why didn't we see more of this in this game? Should have been way more dark aether in these maps. I hope that there's more uh, in the next COD game or in the next Black Ops game. But what weapon do we got? What are we doing today? The M4? I took a picture of all the stuff that we have left. So I'm going to go see if we actually had the M4 done or not. We actually might not. But I'm going to hit it one more time so we have a backup option. What is this? The graph? Okay, two of these weapons we might not actually have done. But here's the kicker. I'm going to back out and go check. All right, let's see. Yeah, so I did. No, wait, that's assault rifle, not the XM4. XM4 master? No, I don't have that done. All right, we'll do that. Do we have the grav just out of curiosity? Wow, we have the grav, but not the XM4. That's weird. And I have a mastercraft for it. We're going to be using that. And how many kills do we need for this? A thousand? You know what? I'll take it. Yeah, let's do this. Going on, D-Machina. Long time no see. Let's take a quick peek at this M4. They really don't make them like how they used to. Look at that. Give it a little touch. Ooh, couldn't help myself. And with these Mastercrafts, these were some of the weapons that came in with like a special ammo mod. Like it, you can only use, uh, what is it? Shit, I don't even remember what it was called. You can only use Shatter Blast. Deadwire. Deadwire is what it's called. You can only use Deadwire on it because it comes with like a, a pre-Deadwire version on here. Man, Cobra bundles were so cool. We talked a bit about it last episode with uh, like the license bundles. And I know in Cold War, you can go to like each weapon or whatever and like actually go and get whatever bundle, even if it's not in the shop right now. But when I was talking about the ghost face one, I don't think you can go and get that because that was like a licensed bundle. And I think you could, they could only sell it for like a certain amount of time. Like they only had the license for so long. So it can stay in their game, but they can't like profit off of it after a certain point. But I can go check after this. That being if I remember, because I'll probably forget within 30 seconds. But you know what? We have our weapon. We need a thousand kills. Let's make it interesting. We'll rampage induce this. Baby mode is off. Oh, damn. Zombies. Back up. Man, every time I play this, it just makes me miss the days where this was the most current COD. This feels like the most, I don't know, most loved COD by the developers in recent years. The zombies is just beautiful. The multiplayer was fun. The campaign was good. I, I might have given Cold War some shit back in the day, you know, while we were playing it, but we really didn't really have too much of a reason to. Sure, it had like its flaws here and there, but now that I'm looking back with the rose tinted glasses, this game was basically perfect. I mean, it is now that uh, it's had its full release and all the content out for it. Maybe at launch and during, you know, the, the whole life cycle of this game, it took a while to get all the things that we've come to love. But man, is this a good game. I just keep wanting more from it, but the, we're, we're gonna get no more. Nothing new will be added to this game again. Hopefully I'm commentators cursing some new content into this, but honestly, I don't see it happening. Unless there's some leftover weapon or map or some random DLC that they already had and they just forgot about and they're like, oh shit, maybe we should drop this. But I don't, I don't see any of that happening. And it's such a shame because this game was awesome, man. Every update had me excited for something. Even if it was like a bundle dropping, because you knew the bundles were going to be cool. Like a new zombies map was super exciting. Even like new multiplayer maps were cool because it always felt like they played well. Like even though I was kind of like a nuketown merchant in this game, I mean, before Face Off came out, Face Off 6v6, you know, I'd only really play Face Off in nuketown, but 
even when new maps came out, it didn't feel like you had to go searching for hours to go even find players. Like when you're on those maps, you weren't playing hide and seek looking for people to kill. And they added in some good maps too. Like we had Express pretty early on. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank on the rest, but I just remember like really enjoying Express. It's hard to think of shit while you have fucking zombies running a insanely timed 40 at you. Now you're fighting for my life. I can barely think normally. I don't need these guys coming at me as fast as possible. Oh wait, I thought of a map. I think it's standoff. The one where like the splash image for the screen is like the broken wall and they have like that little archway by it. I think that was around the time like uh, the Rambo and Die Hard skins came out. Or maybe that's like when they came out for COD Mobile because I think I was playing COD Mobile a bit back then. The Cold War did a lot right, man. I'm very excited for Treyarch to make another game. Oh shit, we are very low health and we aren't getting it back very fast. And honestly, we probably couldn't have gotten a better weapon for this map, especially if we're just going to use the Mastercraft that we have for it. Because with Deadwire on this, it's going to be super effective against the Megatons. Actually, I think I'll stay in the first room until we get a Megaton. I, I want to see what like just the base version of this weapon can do against them. Because even though we do start off with purple because we did the super Easter egg, I still feel like base weapons can go pretty far in Cold War. I'm thinking at least until like Round 20 is when we're going to have to actually start seeing ourselves pack a punch here to actually kill zombies. But right now, we're doing fine. We're chilling. At least damage-wise. Gameplay-wise is a completely different story. These zombies are kind of rocking me. The second they get close, I'm losing like half my health. But we're shredding these guys. We can hit right back. Of course. Double points right as the round ends. I think it's Rampage Inducer. Spawn in. Get in here now, zombies. We're gonna have so many points by the time this Megaton actually shows up. Oh no! Oh, that is if we survive to see him. Okay, let's self-revive here. I'm gonna throw a decoy and try to buy another self-revive back. I wanna see if I have enough. I do not. That's embarrassing. Oh, I should have enough now. Come on. Beautiful. Oh shit, shit in my ass, dude. Okay, good thing we bought that other self-revive. How are we going down so fast? This is round 14. Damn, dude, I'm so out of practice. Actually, you know what? I'd probably be dying just about the same. Had I Have I been playing this game, like, a lot? Actually, I have been playing it a pretty decent amount recently. Okay, you know what? Oh, there's that Megaton I was talking about. We're gonna turn the Rampage Inducer off so we can deal with this guy. Oh, that does do a decent bit of damage. Almost got him to split in one mag. About one and a quarter. But you know what? I'll admit it. I'm a pussy. I'm a little bitch. I'll turn off that rampage inducer if I'm scared. And you know what? I am scared. Oh shit. I really don't want to have to restart. And now it's going to be really hard to keep track of uh, how many kills I actually have with this. Because I got a bunch of kills with that C4 and a, a few kills while I was down with them in 1911. So I'm going to assume that I have like 150 more kills. Or I'm going to have to subtract 150 kills from my total to know how many I have for my M4. Ooh. I forgot these guys don't count towards the round count. You fuck off. Thank you. All right. I think now we can start working towards power. We'll open this. We'll open this as well. Another wall needed for opening. We'll grab this little loose change. Actually, we'll just grab quick revive. We're going to need it. It won't let me lay down next to it. That is probably the most difficult loose change to grab in this game. You have to just lay in such a particular spot. Can you actually lay down with Tesla Storm going? You can. Cool. I don't know why I thought you couldn't, but I guess I never tried it. And we only have a few zombies left. So let's just uh, leave this last guy or last two, however many. And let's get this power on. All right, power is on. At least one third of it. We gotta get this one and this one. We got some shmoney. You can really save up in that first room. We, only, we have like 55,000. All right, let's go get that pack-a-punch part, and then we can actually put it to use. After we break a few crystals, of course, let's see if they're going to give me a ray gun or perhaps a perk. Anything will do. Oh, they did give us a perk. Speed coal. Let's go. That's so lucky. We did do a challenge where we tried to get to round 100. We can only use what we got out of those. So I know firsthand, you don't get those very often. And I also know firsthand what it's like to be a dumbass. I ran right away from this part. Please pick it up. I almost ran away from it twice. There we go. Pack a punch is restored. And we're gonna go right back to the Dark Aether. Because I'm doing the coffin dance. It's like the easiest little Easter egg you can do. Like ever. It's like why not do it every time you're on the map? So simple. 
And we get the free amount of time to go ahead and grab Pack a Punch 1. Might as well grab Deadwire. It's the only thing we can get. And let's grab Pack 2. We can even get Pack 3. Fuck it, dude. Why not? You don't need any perks. We're about to get a free one right here anyways. But if I had to pick a zombie out of all these guys to be my favorite, it's this one right here. He goes the hardest. Look at that. Bro's just getting it. And I never really looked at... Oh, shit, I fell. But I've never really looked at these things right here. I'm, I guess this is where you're supposed to see, like, the particle accelerator. Like, this going through. You know, besides the big gaping hole in it. But it looks nice. It's very mesmerizing. All right, what are we getting this? Give me Jug. What weapon did we get, though? Oh, the Hauer? How are these nuts? How are these nuts taste? Now we gotta fight a bunch of fart dogs. Some shit hounds. My most hated enemy in this game. They're not even difficult to kill. They're just annoying. They're dumb. Now let's go back into the Dark Aether. For funsies. But while we're doing that, I'm switching to Ring of Fire because I have not used that in a little bit. I've been using a lot of Tesla Storm. And I also haven't sat in Penthouse in a while, so I'm going to do that. We'll see if we can uh, actually do this strat. Not like we're going to round 100 or anything, but... I am very bad at the Penthouse strat. I always die. I don't, I don't know what my issue is with it. Actually, I do know what my issue is. I'm ass. But maybe this will help me get familiar with it. So next time I do attempt it. I can do a little bit better. And we can do this. Grab a little loose change. What should we grab right here? Oh, let's get that shot. And a little mule kick. Mule kick strictly to pick up some ammo. I wonder if they didn't use the Dark Aether as much in this. Is because they're scared of like legal action from stranger things because i know a lot of like this zombies was actually inspired by it like especially if we just look here on this map with all the lights and everything going around the christmas lights like this is like directly like paying homage to the first season of stranger things it would have been cool to see them do like a collaboration like a, a cool stranger things bundle for zombies would have been sick like having a, a demogorgon pet oh they even had pets in this game why do they get rid of the pets? Because I know right now, every time I'm on the main menu, I see my little bunny, like, running with me. And that's just such a cool execution to have. Like, it's just a little a little pal you have for executions. Like, they had a Plaguehound one. They might have had a Hellhound one, too. Like, they had all kinds of different animals that would just, like, fly by you on the loading screen or the, the main menu. And then they would also just do your killing for you if you, you did hit an execution. Why do they get rid of the cool, fun stuff? Well, I, I just didn't notice it until right now. At, at least the pet thing. But, like, why did why are those gone? They don't need to be gone. I want pets. And I'm all out of Ring of Fire by the time this guy shows up. Please die. Please fucking die. Thank you. I think I have Pack-A-Punch 3. Or that guy would have just fucking dismantled me bars actually and i just realized i don't have another soft revive but you know what i don't need it i already went down twice this game i think that's good enough if i have to get back up it's gonna be with quick revive oh wait level up did we get our mastery done or are we just leveling up to level up all right we're just leveling up to level up cool i think they actually raised the level cap in this game to like a thousand or something which is fucking wild not that levels really mean anything besides like that you play the game a lot. But what level am I at right now? Where I, oh, 112. I forgot they used to do like level resets in this game too. We're at like the start of every new season. Everybody went back down to like one. So I know I've been a pretty high level in this. And used to be able to get like all the way up and try to like prestige. Like it's not like old school prestiging, but you could, you know, get to a certain level and unlock certain things in the prestige shop. That's another thing they fucking got rid of in newer CODs. Why do they do this shit? They give us some cool features and they're like, you know what? Nobody cared about those. We'll get rid of them. Because that actually gave meaning to leveling up. You could get, level up, get to the prestige shop, and get like old emblems, calling cards, and everything from older games. Treyarch just fucking does everything right, don't they? Name one thing they do bad. Don't say Vanguard Zombies. I don't want to hear it. I, I like to forget about Vanguard Zombies. Name one thing besides Vanguard Zombies. Damn. Do you guys remember how stupidly broken Deadwire used to be? It used to be the Shatter Blast of like early zombies, and now it just kind of like gets maybe five six zombies all just stuck together and sometimes they don't even die from it they kind of just get you know they just stand there and get electrocuted before it would literally kill any zombie that came into contact with the one that was you know dead wired up like now they just do this does it even kill them all okay well i guess it killed them but 
They really just nerfed it into the ground. Actually, to go back to the one thing Treyarch does bad, the one thing that they did bad was take away the Halloween event so early or just take it away at all. I think this time around, the, the reason why they took it out early was to promote uh, the Modern Warfare 2 campaign that was releasing like that same week. But honestly, it should just be a separate mode, like Halloween mode. Just go ahead and like hit solo, hit Halloween mode for whatever map. That was so much fun. And I don't know if we're going to get it again. With Treyarch, like, working on their next new game, while also doing, like, whatever for each new COD game that comes out, because every studio has to work on each new game, we may never see it again. Unless they just have it as some, like, uh, annual event that they already have just, like, pre-programmed to start during one time and end during another. But it ended very abruptly. Like, even before Halloween last year, which really sucked, but... I want to see it come back. At least it has like an option. Cause I was just thinking about like mimics on this map and the only way to actually get a mimic on this map was through like a jackal lantern and having them just pop up in it. And we're over a thousand kills. So we got to be really close to getting this thing done. Oh, there it is. Right on cue. Just had to say something about it. Oh wait, we do have an X fill ready. Let's just go do that. Hopefully it doesn't disappear. Motherfucker. Fuck you, Weaver, you piece of shit. I'll take your other eye. You and Peck. You guys can go on blind dates, literally. Well, now we need to wait till fucking round 31 to get there, but I'm up for the challenge. Have I been doing penthouse wrong this whole time? I might just be able to shoot in this one spot. Holy shit. This is legendary. Everything just runs into where I'm shooting at. Or they spawn where I'm shooting at. Okay, unless too many get close. Then I have to look around a little bit. This is brain dead. Now, if I go down here, you cannot use my own words against me. It's not allowed. It's actually illegal. Google it or something. I don't know. Look it up on Bing. I know your ass still uses Bing. There's somebody out here yahooing shit. Ass Jeeves looking ass. All right, Weaver, you cocksucker. Where's my ex fill at? Where my hug at, Weaver? Weaver would be the dude at school asking where his hug's at. I know he'd get no hugs. You just make people uncomfortable. There we go. Let me buy some equipment first. I'll get uh, one of these bad boys. And uh, one of these bad boys. All right, now you can pick me up. Calling in my Uber Air. A little Gersh. Enjoy. Damn. Eating them up. This one Gersh just killed half the horde. There's 62 zombies, and now we're at 27. 24. 20, actually. Just two Gersh's and we can clear out this whole fucking space. Yeah, that's it. Come here, Hellhound, you dumb shit. Oh, no, it's brain rotted. You're not dumb. You're a good little Leghound, aren't you, buddy? What? Well, I'm out of here. So it took us 1,462 kills, 747 crits, zero revives, and two downs. Not my brightest work. Not my best work. But it's work, I guess. Now show me my calling card, please. Please and thank you. Please. What? What the fuck is that? Just because I said show me it didn't? After action report. Look at that. A few levels here and there. Is that it? Oh, you cocksuckers. There it is. Okay. There's our XM4 master badge. Well, there you have it. We got another mastery calling card and we still have... How many to go? Let's take a quick peek. So we just got this one. We need a lot more. We actually have a few for multiplayer that we don't have either. Only a few though. A lot of these are zombies. So out of the 168, we have 132 done. But while we still have a decent amount left to do, I still want to hit the box to see what weapons we get because it kind of fun, like the, the random RNG of it. But once we only have like a few left, I don't think the box is going to help out. So we'll just have to pick from there. Oh, oh, oh. I was just about to end the video. Hold on. Let me see something. Can I still buy Scream? Or what's his name? Ghostface? He don't even show up as an operator. What was one of his weapons? Oh, he had a grav. Let's see if we can grab it from the grav. So if we go to the shop, the only thing that shows up is the zombie corn. Because he has the plot twist grav. And he also has a tech nine blueprint, the slasher. Maybe it'll have it there. No, it's just a mimicry. Damn, dude. I don't think there's going to be any way for me to get Ghostface. That sucks. All right, now I'm going to end it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Later.